Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Ron at Sync Grinder, and I've got a pretty cool video for you today. This is for the tool that we've recently created to make it quick and easy to put down masses of models in your scenes to really make your scenes come to life. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. So I'm on the Model tab, and there's a new tab here called Tools. And let me open up the Maple Forest one I created. So really quickly, what you do is you can go through our model database and you can attach models to a tool. Okay, I'm not going to bother explaining all of these other things on the bottom. We'll cover that in another video. But just know that when you're painting models with a tool, you can set so that Sync Grinder will automatically randomize things like the model height, the model rotation, the vertical height of the, of the model. Um, and you can also set the rate that models appear and the distance between those models. Okay, so let me show you how this works. So I will turn on the Maple Forest tool and then I'm going to start dragging my rectangle around on the map. And as you can see, as I drag it around, trees are now starting to appear. There you go. Let me back up a little bit. So you can see that this yellow tree on the right, one instance of it was pretty large, and on the left, another instance of it was pretty small. Um, again, this is a quick way to paint much more realistic scenery. Uh, you could do this going model by model, but with the tool, you let Scene Grinder handle the grind of randomizing variables to make the, uh, the models look better in your scenes. So let me just show you a couple other examples. I've got one here called Big Rocks, and of course, as you'd expect, it's got a bunch of big rocks up there. For this one, I've got it set so that the rocks will not have much space in between them. So let me show you how that looks. So let's say I wanted to put kind of a rock wall here between the trees and the uh, dirt area there. So all I do is I come in here and I start painting, and there you go. So you can see just kind of a, a cool way to, to do things. And we turn that one off, and we've also got another one here called Small Rocks. It uses the exact same rocks that I use on the big rock wall I've got going there. But in this case, it's little teeny tiny rocks. And for this one, I've got it set to put the, the rocks out at a really, ha really fast rate. So just a couple of examples there. And let me show you one more example. Let me spin the map around here. Okay, so over here you can see I have started working on a little town. I've got a couple houses there. And so now I want to put all the little things around those houses to make it kind of come to life a little bit. So what I've done is I've created my town stuff tool. And I've just put a bunch of junk in there. I've got a well, I've got different types of carts, barrels, some flowers, some NPCs, uh, chickens, cows, you know, just the types of things that you would see in a town. And then all I do to, again, make these two houses that are just sitting there, make that whole area just kind of come to life, is I just start painting. And as I paint, things appear. And these are regular models, so you can then grab these models and reposition them however you want to. But as you can see, this is just a really cool, quick way to put all those little things on there that really make your scene special. Now, going down the road a bit, um, we're going to be adding the ability for you to specify that models should only appear on top of other models. And this can be really useful for things like, say, you've got a bar, and you've got some tables in that bar, and so you want to kind of randomize what displays on top of those tables. It could be plates, it could be daggers, it could be, um, you know, fruit, just kind of whatever you want. So you can create a tool to then just run around your bar, and it'll only put those items on top of the tables that you've set out. Other really cool things we're going to do with this, and this is a little bit down the road, um, we're going to have the same ability for putting models on walls and ceilings that you see here for ground models. So you can create your dungeon, uh, or maybe your temple, and instead of having to go through the model database and pull out models and put them and position them on walls in your temple or your dungeon, you can just create a tool with a bunch of things that you would want to appear on the wall and just kind of quickly paint them onto your walls and also onto your ceilings. 
So anyway, I uh, hope this video gives you a good idea of this new tool and gets you thinking about all the kind of things that you can do with your scenes to really make them stand out with this. And that's it for today. Thanks, everybody. Happy gaming. Bye.